Hi, welcome, Simon here. I hope you're doing well. Here is the uh, Intel Inspiron 3910. Having a trouble booting into Windows. Every time when I turn on the computer, it brings me up to this screen that says HTTPS. Boot allows the client system to retrieve an IP address to gain access to the network servers and download network boot program, NBP. That helps install the operating system and perform other configuration steps. So it's talking about my computer connect to an HTTPS server, maybe it's a Dell server, it needs internet to gain access to that. So I put in my password and let's click connect and see what happens. All right, it says obtaining an IP address. So long story short, what happened is that the computer after the uh, upgrade and this is what happened it just shows the Dell logo and it stopped booting into the login screen or the desktop screen and it gets right into this HTTPS boot option in the Dell so we'll see what happened right now my cursor is gone I don't see my cursor here It says HTTPS boot failed to find IP address. I'm not sure what is it finding for. Uh, definitely, it's not working. And the computer just restart on its own. Support assist is scanning the system. This may take a few minutes depending on the hard drive, hardware in your system. Okay, well, let's find out what's going on. running a testing memory Success, heart rate scan complete with no issue. Machine will restart and download C SOS for recovery, okay? Download support assist, OS recovery image. Get the IP address, all right. That looks about right. I get internet and start recovery. So I guess right now the computer is doing its own downloads and trying to perform a recovery. I think I'm okay with that. Um, there's no data needed. So the computer can be reset back to factory settings. But if your case, if you really needed a data and the computer doesn't boot up, I recommend to bring it to a local computer repair shop. Uh, ask them if they can recover data off your hard drive before um, doing this. OS recovery image. I hope that they give an option, meaning that um, to reinstall the operating system, either to keep the data or erase the data. Hopefully they do have that option available.
right, we'll see what happened next. Right now is completed the download. Okay, download completes. Reboot and see what happens. So something not quite right, error, something sometimes missing or corrupted files prevent windows from booting properly on your computer, software repair. So pretty much doesn't work, that's what it's telling us, getting a repair, we'll see what happened. So it detected boot files and issue was detected. So boot files were missing, okay. So I think you should just fix the boot files if it's missing. So the repair is failed, okay. System repair failed, but don't worry. We weren't able to restore your PC to the recent working state. You can recover PC by performing a system reset. All right, system reset. Let's see, what does it say here? Select reset option, unable to resolve issue through a software repair, want a fresh start? Sure, reset and update. function download and install most recent operating system this require you to be connected to the internet 40 to 4 no we're just going to do a factory reset runtime 15 to 20 minutes um, but if you have an internet you might want to select this one it's recommended but you would download and install the latest os and which is connected to the internet for me i'm just going to do this real quick uh, option data during this process, data will be permanently deleted and your operating system will be reinstalled. Before we begin to reset, you'll, begin, you'll be given the chance to transfer all your accounts, data, files, and settings. So this note here is referring to, in the process of reinstalling the windows, the data will be permanently deleted, okay? That includes program software data. Um, like I said, I do not need them, so I'm not going to back it up. Do not back up my files, but if you need your files, please select yes, back up your files. Next, remember the reset will permanently delete all the system. Yep, yes, continue. I understand that the, the reset, select the reason, unable to load operating system. Okay, come from your reset, I understand the reset, no data. Next. So the computer is performing a factory reset in the process.
So your reset was a success. Restart now. Instead of counting down 10 seconds, I'm just gonna say restart now and see what happens. Doesn't seem to work. No, nothing's going on. Start PXC over IPv4. It looks like it wants to boot into a network. The network is connected. I have the internet is plugged in. And just kind of stay at PXC over IPv6. Okay, there's no IPv6. I'll be using an IPv4. We'll see what happened. Alright, it seems to bring me back to this page again, HTTPS boot allowed, um, it's a no-go, so this Dell is keep on rebooting the same page again and again. Alright, so I'm going to end the video, doesn't seem to be a help, um, wasted your time and my time, thanks to Dell, and uh, nothing seems to work, so I do expect that the M.2 SSD drive maybe have gone bad. We'll be probably replacing the M.2 drive and install fresh Windows install. Okay, bye now.